What's up guys, Mike back here today, and today we're back in Stone Block, and we got some cool stuff that's going to be happening this episode. I think everybody will enjoy. So last episode, we set up a Draconic Fusion Crafting System and automated it. So between episodes, I went ahead and upgraded everything to the Wyvern version, and I went ahead and fixed our nether star production and kind of cleaned us this area a little bit so now as you can see we can claim nether or not claim but we can ask for nether stars on demand it looks like i forgot a little bit of those because i went through and transferred all of our flux ducts over into resonant flux ducts, which transfer 25,000 RF a tick. So, we're going to continue today with Draconic Evolution. Apparently, my game's going to crash when I open the book. So, the next thing I want to do is I want to work on the Wyvern tools and the Wyvern armor. What? Because I want to eventually get the Draconic Staff of Power, which is one of the coolest tools that I've ever seen in a mod. And it's not that bad to make. If we look up Draconic Staff, you can see that it's fusion crafting, takes a Draconic, a Draconic, that is not a word, a Draconic shovel, a sword, and a pickaxe and a bunch of awakened draconium and awakened cores to make the draconic staff but in order to even get draconic tools I didn't even know there was a draconic hoe okay in order to get draconic tools we have to first make wyvern tools so we're going to do that so first thing we're going to want to do we already have the sword so let's make the pickaxe of the wyvern. So we're going to need a wyvern core and a wyvern energy core. Did I ever teach... I never taught the system how to make wyvern cores. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's teach you how to make that. And do you know how to make blocks of redstone? Now you do. So let's go ahead and teach this. We can put that in our draconic section. I also went ahead and made the resonant, res, resonant upgrade kits and the resonant conversion kits for all of our thermal machines. So, the pickaxe, we need a wyvern core and a wyvern energy core. So, give me one of those and one of those. I also went ahead and got an entire stack of nether stars while I was working. So, we need a diamond pickaxe, and we should be able to get ourselves a pickaxe of the wyvern. Then we're going to want a axe of the wyvern. And a shovel. So, I think, okay, so we're going to need, that's two, three more of both of these. What the hell? Sorry about that, I thought I heard something. Let's go ahead and do this. Let those craft up, and then we're going to need the corresponding diamond tools. A pickaxe, a shovel, and we're going to need a bow. So let's go ahead and make an axe, a shovel, and a bow of the wyvern. So now, all of these should get recharged from our uh, wireless charger plus our flux capacitor that we have in our inventory. And these are actually really cool. I don't know what the Draconic hotkey is. Category Draconic. What is it? Tool and armor at C. Okay, so something is conflicting with C. So let's set that to J, K, L, P, decimal, zero. What the heck?
there's seriously no keys that that can be set to. I set it to. I set it to apostrophe. There we go. So we go ahead and hit apostrophe. You can see that we have the ability to change dig AOEs and different stuff. So let's go ahead and let's make our wyvern armor. So that is going to be the same thing. So we're going to need wyvern. We're going to need four of these, four of these, and then we're going to need, we actually have a lot of diamond armor. Let's take out all this. We don't need all this diamond armor. can put that away so let's do one of each piece we'll use that for crafting the rest of this can get trashed not entirely sure why we have it in the first place but we'll go ahead and make our wyvern armor okay Yay! So now, we can trash all of this old junky diamond that I've been wearing. And we can throw on our awesome new wyvern armor. That looks freaking amazing. I love the way wyvern armor looks. So, we completed some quests. We actually completed a lot of quests. We can claim all this. Okay. We can put all this away. And I kind of want to use the wyvern tools. Actually, let's do at tinkers. Let's put, let's put our tinkers tools in here. Just for the time being. And I don't need, let's put you in there. We'll let you charge up. Why are we not trying? Why did that flux capacitor shut off? Is that out of power? Oh, that's out of power. That's why. Okay. Because we don't actually need to carry a shovel on us. Or a bow. So I'm going to put those away. And I'm going to put my flux capacitor in here. Just to let it charge up. And in the meantime, we can let all of our armor and stuff. It'll charge as we're walking around in here. So, the next big thing we're going to do Will that charge if it's in my bubble slot? If I get close enough, will that charge? Mm, maybe. Right now my armor's charging. So, the next thing that we're going to do want to do from Draconic is we need to make the Draconic Fusion Crafting System. Which, if we look, requires awakened draconium blocks. Which we can either do in a crafting table, a uh, fusion craft, or we should be able to grow. I think we can grow. Awaken the seeds. Awaken. I think that takes a special. Yeah, that takes a special uh, awaken crust. Okay, and I think there's, isn't there another way to get Draconic? Yeah, there's an Awakened Draconium Chicken. And that is a Draconium plus an Ender Pearl. I think we're just going to teach it how to make Fusion Craft it. Because we have a butt ton of Draconium. The only problem that we're going to run into is we need Dragon Hearts. I think it's about time we went and killed the Ender Dragon. I've left him alive this long. It's about time he dies. Because the only way to get Dragon Hearts is killing the dragon. I really kind of want to use that Draconium Crux. I kind of want to make that. 
I'm not gonna lie. It's a tier 6 seed. That would not be hard to make. Uh, we might try that. We might honestly try that. Awaken Draconium Block. We might actually try that. Are you filled up? You're filled up. Okay. So let's get... Our bow. We're gonna need... Does this bow have... Okay. So we're gonna need some arrows. And I think... Is it this bow or is it the Draconic bow? Okay, so this bow does not have infinity. So let's grab... I don't know, like... Three stacks of arrows. And we're gonna go kill the dragon. So let's go do this real quick. Man, I'm about out of lava in there. Alright, so let's see if my game is going to freeze up. Because every time I go through this end portal, my game freezes and it, f it fucks my inventory up. I get decent problems. And I don't know why. I really should have made a draconic flux capacitor before I, uh, or draconic capacitor before I came here. Alright, so I'll catch you guys back here in just a second once this decides to load, or do whatever it's doing. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm just taking out the last of the little crystal thingies. And as you can see, the really awesome thing about draconic armor is it has to go, incoming damage has to go through your energy buffer before you can actually get hit. Why can't I hit this dragon? Why can't I hit this dragon? What the hell? My entropony, or whatever that's called, the EN thing is going up. And that just means that my armor will uh, regen faster. Why are you doing this? Why do you know let me hit you? I can get hit, is it because... Okay, so it's not lagging because Endermen still get mad at me. Oh my god, the dragon has googly eyes. So I can't shoot it. Why can't I hit this fucking dragon? This is weird. Can I hit it with a bow? So I can shoot it with a bow. I just can't melee it for some reason. Is my inventory desynced again? Every time I go through that portal. No, it's not desynced. Alright, so I'm going to do this dragon fight off camera and try to figure out why I can't hit this dragon. Uh, everybody's seen a dragon fight. It's just a vanilla Minecraft dragon fight. I'm just retardedly OP with armor. See, I can't hit him. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera. I'll catch you guys back here in just a minute. Alright guys, so the dragon is dead. So, I don't know what was wrong with my dragon, but as you can see, I gave myself a bunch of different swords, and it literally, it, it was invulnerable when it was floating above the pedestal. Like, I couldn't attack the dragon. I could only hit it in the air with a bow. So, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Um... I can hit Enderman. I can hit Enderman all day. I just couldn't hit the dragon. I don't know why. I tried my Tinker's Axe. I gave myself some swords. A diamond, emerald, obsidian sword. It just wouldn't work. I don't know why. Um, Can you teleport somewhere not close to that? Uh, can you teleport again, please? Okay, that'll work. So, let's get our dragon egg. Yay, we got an egg. Awesome. Let's put these torches back. I always like to leave the torches on the end islands. It's just kind of cool. Um, end Inferium. I want to see what all kinds of ores spawn in the end on this pack. 
So Ender Draconium uh, doesn't look like much. I think this is Resonant Instone. Yeah. This stuff actually has a really cool property. So if you break it and stand in it, it'll teleport you, which is really cool. We don't need any of that, though. Uh, what is you? Anglocyte ore. What is that added by? Extreme reactors and prosperity. I can actually use prosperity. I can always use prosperity. Um, so one thing I learned are flux capacitor that holds a million. Uh, yeah, that's got to go. That's got to be upgraded. Um, are you a friendman? Oh, I have pearls for you. I, I've been wanting to do a friendman. I can't access that. I will come back. We will be friends eventually. I have a ton of Frenderman pearls that I've gotten. I'm not watching that. So now I'm trying to get to see my inventory. Because like I said, every time I've gone through this portal, it's desynced. So. I'm kind of curious to see. That's not good. Okay, so, alright guys, I'm back, and you remember how I was complaining about lag and shit in the last episode? Well, I came back to the overworld, I was fighting a dragon, and I wanted to kill it again to get multiple hearts and dragon eggs. And I noticed the world wasn't loading, and it was running like 3 TPS, and I couldn't figure out why. And it seemed to be fine if I looked over in this direction. But if I looked this way, it would lag. And it would literally drop me down to about two frames a second. Well, you remember last episode when I put in all those upgrades into the Mob Masher? <laughs> well, ten looting upgrades in a Mob Masher gets you an insane amount of fucking drops. Um, yeah. So, if I remember in editing, I doubt it because I'm I suck at editing. I'm going to put a picture I took of all the items here. It was bad. So I took out all the looting upgrades. And it works again. So as you can see. In my, ha in my inventory we have 5 dragon eggs. And 5 dragon hearts. So if we go back to Draconic. We was looking at making... Awakened Draconium. And I think from what I'm seeing, the chickens give you nuggets. Everything gives you nuggets. Gives you Draconium nuggets. Even Mystical Ag. So I don't know if it's going to be viable to actually like just make a crop for Awakened Draconium, or just kill the dragon. Because the dragon's not that hard to kill. But regardless, we need to get... I want to get four... I think it's four, right? Yeah. I want to get four of our little crafting thingies here upgraded to Draconic tier. And then we'll be able to turn our uh... Wyvern stuff into Draconic stuff, which would be freaking awesome. We're going to need more Dragon Hearts. Um, I'm going to do that in between this episode and next, because it's going to take a little bit to get all this set up, because we're going to have to have Draconic Energy Cores. I might I might just bite the bullet. Let's, let's do this real quick. Let's make some Awakened Draconium. So let's make one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six Draconic Cores. Give me six of those. And then I'm going to need four draconium blocks. Okay, so give me that. That, and what else? Is that all? Oh, yeah. And you need a heart. So let's go ahead and put... Oh. Single mode active... I want all these to be single mode active. Okay. So let's do this. Put our dragon heart. 
should be able to pop that in there and it'll start. Now that's going to use a lot of RF. That uses 350 million RF per craft. So let's come over here to Eod Reactor and let's just, uh, let's make a lot of power. There we go. So now we should have a net gain, in theory. But I'm sure that it's going to drain these capacitors. So we'll let this craft, like I said, this is going to take a while. Um, because, I mean, we're making power, but we're only making 10,000 RF a tick. We can expand this reactor and make it do a lot more. And we can also make it go vertically a lot more. So I might do that in between episodes here. Um, but this episode is, I think I'm reaching the wrapping, the end of this episode, not the wrapping up point. That sounds weird. Um, so I think I'm going to call it for this episode. Um, but... We are making Awakened Draconium, and what I'm going to do in between episodes is I'm going to craft up some Draconic Seeds from Mystical Ag. I'm going to make this. It's simple. Just two blocks of Insanium, some Insanium Essence, Dragon Heart, and some Draconium. And then we can start growing uh, Draconium Nuggets. So that won't be bad. And the Draconium seeds is just a tier six seed so we should have seed tier yeah we have a tier six seed i don't know why we have a tier six seed i probably had to make one for a quest so we're literally just waiting on the awakened draconium so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did comment down below let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys next episode I might go ahead and expand this reactor in between episodes. You guys seen me build it, so I'm probably just going to expand it. I'll probably make it taller, honestly. I'll just go up with it. So, I've been Mike. I will see you guys next time. Bye.